Hey everyone, today we're going to be replicating the gravity gun from Half-Life 2 at the request of Dinosaur Fan. And I already have a few things in my project here. I've got a player controller. All um, it does is just, if I start the game, I can look around and move around. And also I have a plane below my character controller so I don't fall through the world. Alright, to start it off, you're going to want to go to your player and just add a new script and we'll call it Gravity Gun. And let's open that up. Alright, I'm going to make a few variables visible in the inspector here. So we're going to start off with serialized field, camera, cam, and then we'll make a few floats. Float, max, grab, distance. And we'll set that to default at 10. Row force, we'll make it default to 20. And lerp speed, we'll default to 10. And we're also going to need another transform called object holder. And we're going to have one variable here, which is body grabbed RB, and that's just going to be the stored rigid body of the object we're grabbing. Now in our update method, let's make the basic logic for picking up our object. So I'm going to make a new if statement here. If input dot get key down key code dot E, and I'm just going to use E because that's the default interaction key in Half-Life 2. So I'm going to make another if statement here, if grabbed RB. Else. So this will be run if we're actually grabbing an object and our grabbed object exists, and this will be run if we do not have a grabbed object or our grabbed object does not exist. So I'm going to make a new ray cast hit. Hit. I'm going to make a new ray here. Ray, ray equals cam dot viewport point to ray. I'm going to make a new vector 3. 0.5f by 0.5f. And that is just going to give us a new ray with the origin of the center of the screen outward in the direction that our camera is facing. So now we'll check that raycast. Physics.raycast ray out hit and then we'll pass in max grab distance. Then we can set the grabbed rigid body to the hit collider game object dot get component rigid body. And then if it exists, so if the object we just pressed E on actually has a rigid body, then we'll make it kinematic. Now for our other logic here, grab RB that is kinematic equals false. And we will make it null. All this will do right now is when we press E on an object with a rigid body, we will start grabbing it, and then if we press E and we're holding one, we'll stop grabbing it. But we don't actually move it right now, and we want to be able to move the object um, in front of us, like in Half-Life 2. So if it does exist, if we do have a rigid body, then we're going to move it, move position, object holder dot transform dot position. All right, I'm going to make a new. 3D object cube in our scene, and I'm just going to rigid body to it. And then on our player controller here, I'm going to make sure that the camera is assigned here. And then I'm also going to make a new object. Um, this will be parented to your camera, or in my case, I just have a camera holder which I'm moving. I'll make a new empty game object and I'll just move it about two units in front of the camera. And just make sure that it rotates in the same direction as the camera. So if we start the game now, you can see that it's rotating to be in front of the camera at all times. So let's rename that object holder. And then we can assign that to our gravity gun script. And now if we run the game, look at our cube and press E, we'll pick it up. We can drop it again with E and we can kind of throw it like that. And that's great, but in Half-Life 2, you can launch objects by pressing left mouse. So I'm going to add that functionality now. If we are grabbing the if we're grabbing the rigid body and we get the left mouse button down, then we'll make it not kinematic anymore. And we will add some force in the direction of our camera times the throw force with the force mode of velocity change. And then we will just set it to null. Alright, now if we run the game. 
I can pick it up with E and then if I press left click it'll launch it. So if we go into here, let's add in some smoothing to our movement. When we move position, we're going to use vector 3lerp grabbed rb.position object holder dot transform dot position and then time dot delta time times lerp speed and that's it if we run our game now it'll be a little smoother picking it up dropping it and we can duplicate this around and have a bit of fun grab it with E I can throw it at the other cubes with left click I can swing them around and that's it thanks for watching